Hello and welcome to the data representation track of Pangkarniwan Developer. So, first lesson natin to, just going to be a short lesson. Start tayo about data. So, sa data, umpisa tayo dun sa pinaka-simpleng piece ng information na pwede mong i-transfer, i-process, or sabihin natin, well, overall, gamitin lang. And not necessarily sa computer or any device. Kahit sabihin natin sa kaibigan mo or sa kausap mo, ano yung pinaka-simpleng informasyon na pwede mong ibigay sa kanya? Well, ang pinaka-simple would be oo or hindi. So, oo or hindi, meron o wala, or any variation of that. So, dalawa yung sagot. Pwede something, then yung opposite nun. For instance, tinanong ka, nakain ka na ba? Pwede mo sabihin oo, pwede mo sabihin hindi. Sa digital devices, mga electronics natin, ganun rin. Ang pinaka-simpleng piece ng information sa kanila is something that is of two states. Whether it's naka-on or off, naka-ilaw ba o hindi, mataas ba yung voltage o hindi, meron bang existence ng nadidetect na something or wala ba siya nadidetect. So itong type ng information na to, na meron kang dalawang distinct na states, ito yung tinatawag nating binary digit or bit. So, yung bit, that is the foundation of everything sa ating mga digital devices. Okay, medyo malabo. Paano ba tayo, paano, paano ba nagagawa ng mga computer lahat ng kanyang niyang gawin mula rito sa simpleng bagay na to, simpleng dalawang possible na states. Ayun nga, pwede on or off or yes or no. Well, ma'am, sa later lesson na naan i-discuss yan, pero... Kailangan nyo lang malaman for this lesson, napakalit na to, this won't be 5 minutes long, na in a digital device, kunwari, ito lang, kailangan nyo ito i-keep in mind. In a digital device, kunwari ito, clock, digital clock, compare mo with its opposite, which is an analog clock. Sa digital devices, all information is based on bits. And sa analog, pwede siyang mag-go beyond two states. It could store more than two states given its condition. Hindi siya discrete. Kung medyo informed kayo sa math, mathematical concepts, sa digital devices, yung states natin ay discrete. Sa analog devices, hindi discrete, continuous. So if you're going to translate it in layman's terms, sa isang digital device, Dalawa lang, oo or hindi. Parang tinanong na, kain ka na ba, oo or hindi. In an analog device, you can have more than one state. So, dun sa case na yun, yung tanong mo naman is different. Which is, possibly, busog ka na ba? Pwede oo, pwede hindi, pero pwede rin medyo, pero medyo busog na ako, or konti na lang medyo busog na ako, pwede pa ako kumain. Parang ganun. Again, in digital devices, what makes them digital is yung foundation ng information la is bits and yung opposite niya analog which can take in the form of other data storage. Kunwari sa clock, pwede yun yung springs niya, pwede yun yung gears niya and whatever. But ang difference nun is hindi lang two states yung foundation ng information nun. But again, ang, itong ginagawa natin, itong buong lesson natin about developing software, it's all about computers, it's all about digital devices, kaya bits lang talaga yan. Kaya, yun na, yun, yun lang naman, medyo kinailangan ko pa magpasakali ng konti para man-explain yung digital analog para lang masaksak sa utang nyo na sa mga computers, we are going to use bits. And, paano natin, paano tayo gumagayot ng bits? Paano tayo nagre-represent ng more complicated information using bits, well, that's the topic of the next lessons. Hindi lang natin sinama read sa bit lesson na to kasi yung next lesson, which is yung number systems, is a bit complicated. Aabot siya ng 10 or 10 to 12 minutes. Kaya hindi siya magkakasya rito pag sinama pa yung concept ng bits. So, next lesson muna. Then, after that lesson, we're going to combine yung number systems plus yung bits para malaman natin paano tayo nagre-represent ng numbers sa isang digital device.